Okay, guys, so now we are going to start the second part of the tutorial, which is how to actually build uh, that wall in Rhino. And here I just scanned or took a photo of those measurements that I just showed you how to take. Um, and then um, I just opened Rhino. Remember, uh, whenever you guys open Rhino, one of the first things you should always do is type units, right? And that opens up your units panel. It's a my computer's a little slow because it's trying to record right now. But I would just make sure that you know what you're modeling in. So in my case, I'm going to be modeling in inches, and that's fine. And that's um, I want to work in fractional uh, feet and inches, and I want uh, a little bit better fidelity. But that's okay. And so now I'm going to be referencing this image, obviously, and the space that I'm currently in, in order to verify the the, the measurements, right? So um, obviously, I took measurements in feet and inches here. Uh, so I'm going to have to convert some, some information. Um, but that's just something that I have to keep track of. So, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's nine feet. So uh, I know that my room is nine feet wide. So I'm going to start at the zero, zero. And uh, going along the uh, x-axis, I believe, right, the green one, uh, I'm going to type in nine, and then if I type the uh, foot symbol, it's, you know, nine feet. And you can sort of see, oh, it, it produces a pretty long line, and that's okay. And then uh, I'm going to now, uh, I actually went ahead and did some additional measurements between that, the drawing and um, and this portion to get the rest of the size of the room, and I, the, the rest of the room is 15 feet uh, long, and it's a square room. So... Um, so then I also know back a rectangular room, I mean. And so I know that that's another nine feet uh, there. And then, uh, and then so like that is in essence, right? The plan or the very simplified plan of my room, right? So uh, once I have this, I can remember to do planar surface. And uh, so you can see it change to shaded view, right? So all of a sudden now I can see this, uh, that's my, my plan, right? So if I refer back to this, I, I can see it was, I had 18 inches of wall and then a door and then eight inches of a column and then another door. And then I had here another 18 inches, right? So, um, so now I can go back and build out that wall, right? So I'm gonna do 18 inches, I'm gonna type 18. Right. And then for right now, just because it doesn't quite matter, I'm going to say, I think my wall is nine inches thick. Uh, and I'm going to do another 18 inches. And then another 18, uh, nine. And now, I've, you know, that's one side of the wall. Right. So now um, I can actually copy and paste this one because, you know, it was 18 inches on both sides. So that was that, right? And then I also can remember that I had a thing somewhere in the center. And so it was, and it was eight inches. And then, and then it was, uh, it went back, but I'm gonna build the same nine inches. And then it, it went, and then it went eight inches, right? And then back and it was in the center. So I'm gonna move this over mid to midpoint and that is where the location of that column was right and then if you remember i measured that the doors were four foot inset from those that wall so i'm going to go and i'm going to measure four i'm just going to use a line to draw out four inches there and then and then i'm going to do something like this we can delete that later now i know that my door goes from edge to edge and I didn't measure this, but you could, but I, I, I know for a fact that my door is two inches uh, thick. Uh, and so that's what I'm going to assign as its thickness. So there's one door, right? And in this case, I also know that these two are identical. So I can copy from there to there, right? So that's kind of a, the portion of a portion of my wall, right? Or, or at least of that back wall. So now I can, um, I can do, I can take this and, uh, and same thing here. I'm, I'm going to actually do this. I'm going to build this out. Well, let's actually just do this the way we've, we've been talking about it. Okay. So um, here I'm going to extrude. And remember that we measured that the height of the wall was nine feet. 
So I can extrude it nine feet and I can grab here and do the same thing, nine feet, right? And I'm just gonna go ahead and cap these. Okay, so now we've built the two sides of the wall. And then we, we remember that the doors were eight feet tall. So I can grab both of these and we can extrude those and do eight feet, right? And in this center thing, actually, we know that it is eight feet, the same thing. And then there's a, another piece of wall that goes right here, right? So uh, one of the ways that you could build that is you could build a, a rectangle like such and then extrude that down to, to extrude that curve down to the height of this. And we can cap this and we can cap that. And so now we've kind of very quickly built the basis of that wall and we have an accurate um, depth between the, the door and the wall. And now what we have to do is like go back and remember that I should said that we had the, the sort of the kick guard at the bottom and the um, mullion or the jam, the door jam that wrapped all the way around. Right, and so we, we I remember that we measured, uh, and actually the one thing that we didn't measure together, I'm not realizing, um, but I went ahead and measured afterwards was the thickness of that, uh, of that um, kick and the and the door jam, and in this case it's a half inch. So I know that it's a half inch, so I can do 0.5. So let's try that again, 0.5, right? And then I, I know that it went all the way to here, right? So it was 18 and 0.5 and close it, right? And I know that it went up five inches. So once again, I can extrude that curve five inches and I can cap that. So there is one of my kicks, right? And I also can copy that because I know that this other side of the wall is the same. So there is um, I must have grabbed it from the wrong point. But there it is, right? And so it matches up. So now I know that the other one, that the door jam is the same thickness, and but it only goes three and a half inches, right? So it's gonna go like that, like that, and now that's where I'm gonna measure 3.5. 3.5. And now I can grab that and I can extrude that. And I can cap that. Right? And once again, I can grab this and I can copy it um, from this side to this side because I know that both of the door jams are the same. Right? And so now I just have to put the jam as it goes all the way across. So the way that I would go about doing that is I would actually just take a rectangle tool and build a, a very skinny rectangle, of course, that goes from end to end, right? And then I can grab that and extrude it 3.5 inches, grab it and cap it, of course, right? And now there we go. So there, there you can very quickly see how you would essentially build the geometry, the forms of that space. We can look at it rendered and it'll give us a much clearer sense. You know, that is what that wall really basically looked like. And that's about the level of detail that I would like you guys to do for each of your walls, okay? So uh, of course uh, you could then you would then continue and you would build the wall that goes here and the wall that wall goes here and obviously the one here. And I realize that some of you have more complex objects uh, and more complex rooms and so, but this is essentially the basic um, way that you would go about making it. Okay, so uh, I hope this helps. Uh, please let me know if you guys have any additional questions.